Hey, what's up everybody? It is Mr. Boylan and we're back for one more calorimetry problem. This one is surprisingly easy compared to those last two. This last type of calorimetry problem just asks you to recognize that many times we're actually gonna perform a reaction inside a coffee cup calorimeter and measure the heat absorbed or released during that reaction. So as we look at this problem, it says we have a 100 milliliter sample of 0.300 molar sodium hydroxide. It is mixed with a 100 milliliter sample of 0.300 molar HCl in a coffee cup calorimeter. If both solutions were initially at 35.0 degrees Celsius and the temperature of the resulting solution was recorded as 37.00 degrees Celsius, determine the heat released or absorbed in kilojoules per mole important for the neutralization reaction between aqueous sodium hydroxide and HCl. Assume that no heat is lost to the calorimeter or the surroundings and that the density and the heat capacity of the resulting solutions are the same as water. Okay, so follow me this time. We're just gonna use the Q equals MCAT formula. We're trying to solve for Q. The M, the mass. Well, we mixed 100 milliliters of sodium hydroxide and 100 milliliters of HCl for a total of 200 milliliters. Now, because we are assuming that the density of the resulting solution is the same as water, which is one gram per milliliter, if I have 200 total milliliters, I have 200 grams as the mass of my resulting solution. We're also making the assumption that the specific heat or heat capacity is the same as water, which is 4.18 joules per gram degree Celsius. My final temperature of 37.00 degrees Celsius minus my initial temperature of 35.00 degrees Celsius. In other words, my temperature change is 2.00 degrees Celsius. Now it's just a quick trip to the calculator. 200 times 4.18 times 2.00, enter. To three significant figures, I get 1,670 joules of heat that was released. So because it was released, I'm gonna put a negative sign here, simply indicating that the heat was given off. I know that the heat was given off because I go from a cooler temperature to a warmer temperature. Now, if you're feeling good about yourself, you should be, but we're not done. We're asked to solve in terms of kilojoules per mole for the neutralization reaction. Okay, easy enough. I can convert this from joules to kilojoules, recognizing that one kilojoule is a thousand joules. And my heat released is 1.67 kilojoules. Again, the negative sign just implies that it is released without having to write out it is released. Okay, and the last trick here is it's kilojoules per mole. And so as you look at for, uh, your reactant here, we've got 100 milliliters of the 0.3 molar sodium hydroxide. Same 100 milliliters of the 0.3 molar HCl. So we need to choose one of those and figure out how many moles we actually reacted. To do that, throw back to the molarity equation. Again, never forget to convert your milliliters to liters when you're using this formula. So I actually only reacted 0.0300 moles. So this 1.67 kilojoules of heat that was released was released upon the reaction of 0.03 moles of my sodium hydroxide and 0.03 moles of my HCl. So to figure out kilojoules per mole, I just take my amount of kilojoules, 1.67 kilojoules, and divide it by the number of moles that released that much heat. A quick trip to the calculator, negative 1.67 divided by 0 0.03, enter, gives me negative 55.7 kilojoules per mole. And again, so think about this. I only reacted 0 0.03 moles to release 1.67 kilojoules. So if I were to react an entire mole, I'm gonna release a heck of a lot more heat. So if I were to react one mole, I would get 55.7 kilojoules of heat released. Boom, and we are done. 